Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Aquarius. Happy birthday to each and every one of you Aquarius, and congratulations to you all who have been winning gifts, Aquarius. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's get right into it. You know, for Sundays, we have questions, right? So happy full moon, one. Um, this video may go up on Saturday, but uh, we have a full moon on the 5th of February, full moon in Leo. Go back and listen to the last video. Um, I did share a modern day ritual with you guys, as well as, you know, your normal putting out your gemstones and crystals, cord cutting ceremony, burning bowl ceremonies, all those things, right? I don't have to keep repeating those things, but this is the questions that you're going to get is for upcoming last quarter moon um in scorpio so full moon energy is about really just sitting back and allowing god to download those messages through to you to show you what you need to release in order to move to the next phase successfully right so let's say for instance you've been praying for um let's say for instance you've been praying for a job right a full moon will show you what you still have in your universe that you you need to purge what you need and so that what you need to purge could be feelings from your old job it could be like you know i'm still connected to people who work at a job that i you know i i had a really rough rocky relationship with my old job and i'm praying for a new one so that could be that could be step top those toxins could still be sitting in your water so i'm nervous and jittery about even applying for a new job because what if i experience the same thing in, in my new job is I experienced in my old job. That's what I mean, like purging uh, things. So with that purging of those emotions could also be purging of people as well, people, places, and things. So let's get right into your, let's get right into this. Let's get right into your reading, get into your reading. Remember, we have questions. Uh, we have five questions. Usually I give you like five questions on Sundays. But again, let this full moon and every full moon fully illuminate your universe to show you exactly what is still sitting in your universe. Sometimes things really cut that deep, you know, could be uh, past traumas that cut that deep where you feel like, why can't I just get over this? Why does this keep coming up in my spirit? Be gentle with yourself. You didn't just get sword cut in one day. That thing took years sometimes to cut deep into your spirit. So let's get into it. I see a breakthrough happening for somebody. Here we have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Two of Cups. We also have the Four of Wands. We also have, okay, cards. What are you trying to do? <laughs> we also have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, right? Ace of Pentacles, right? Okay, so... The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, I see a breakthrough coming. And this is, the breakthrough is, um, okay, this is interesting. Okay. Thank you, Most High God. Here we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Two of Cups. So you got something in every element. You got air, fire, earth, and also water, right? So this is about making decisions, like really, really make just like getting rooted and grounded. I'm, I'm going to start with your root chakra here, the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, right? So when we talk about your root chakra, we're talking about your stability. We're talking about your security We uh, in every area of your life, stability in every area of your life. This is about getting rooted and grounded somewhere, right? Really in your spirit, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every way. Your root chakra is developed between the ages of zero and seven. So if, if like I said before, if you don't, if you don't feel stable, you could keep walking past your vault and not even know it. And so it looks like, it looks like somebody either their words or their actions cut you deep like a sword or, or hitch or burned you like a blowtorch to get you to kind of wake up and see, to deal with your shadow self. Remember, source will use anything and anybody to wake us up from any kind of a trance that we're in. See how this person is walking head down and they feel like they're left out in the cold and, you know, that kind of thing. Again, maybe some feelings of insecurity. Maybe there's some feelings of, well, people don't invite me to things or, you know, I, I don't feel stable or grounded where I am. I feel like, 
you know, I feel like I'm always on the other side of things. Source is trying to tell you that you have the key to building your own stability, your own wealth. You're a very hardworking person. You've had many stops and starts in your life. It, they're called cycles, right? You've had many stops and starts in your life, right? One of the things that you gotta you gotta say to yourself because we learn a lot from nature. Nature teaches us how to close out cycles, how to start and how to end cycles. Nature does that. When we talk about going from spring to summer, from summer to fall, from fall to winter, there's usually what that happens between is some kind of water, some kind of rain or storm, some kind of ice, some kind of something, snow, something that washes away. Before we entering, especially if you live in an area where there's four, you see the four seasons, right? Um, you witness the four seasons. You see like, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter. So what Source is trying to say to you is that you don't need to belong to, to you don't need a seat at someone else's table. This is where you know how to build your own. You've had enough life experiences to build your own. So you take all the bricks that were thrown at you and you build your own stable foundation, right? You don't, you don't need to be a part of something. You've been set apart. You've been sanctified, Aquarius. You're, you are the aliens. So you've already been here. And to try to, be a part of, uh, try to be a part of something where people clearly want to push you out and cause you to look at yourself as unstable, insecure, that kind of thing. You don't have to let that sit in your cup of water. Hopefully somebody got what I was saying here is Source says, you know how to get it out of the mud, Aquarius. You know how to build from the ground up. You have been courageous. Some of you all have moved from, moved from, you moved across the country by yourselves. Some of you all have started businesses by yourselves. Some of, when I say by yourselves, I'm talking about you and God. When I say by yourselves, it, it gives the appearance to people from the outside that you're doing it alone by yourself, but it's you and God. Y'all been in the trenches since the beginning, right? So Source is like, I need you, Aquarius, to recognize that that's where your power lies, is that you you don't have a problem, you know, leaving, you know, turning nothing or seemingly nothing into something. That is your power. So you don't have a problem stopping. And so you don't have a problem with cycles. You just need somebody to shine a light on your in your toolbox, Aquarius, and say, this here's the tool that you need for this. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. So in that in that revelation, that third eye being open, it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. That's going to have, that's your power of transformation right there, right? So let this full moon shine a light on what your life purpose is. Some of you all, somebody can drop you off in a jungle and you will survive. And not only survive, you'll thrive. You'll start making the animals line up in a row and start singing together, <laughs> I mean, that's just how powerful and how smart you all are. And not only that, because you know you have air and water, the two things that every living being needs to survive. So you could turn an enemy into a friend because you have your smart, that's your air. You're an air sign, but you're a water bearer. You're, that you're, you're smart, you're powerful, that's your air, right? Your power and your intellect. And then your water is your creativity and your emotions, right? You are a, you're also a nurturer. So, um, you know how to, like I said, start from the ground up, start from bare bones. You know how to get it out of the mud, Aquarius. So that is really your superpower, right? That's where somebody's breakthrough is going to come in. Everywhere you go, you meet people that they're, they're drawn to your water, and guess what they're going to get when they get when they get to you? They're going to get some conversation because you all are no respecter of person, Aquarius. Come on now, Aquarius. Wake up. Snap out of it. You all don't. So source allows somebody to say something to you in the past. Guess what you would have done? You would have walked right past your vault because emotionally you would have been wounded and you would have used that as a crutch. See, that's why I don't trust people because every time I go somewhere, somebody says something smart. They're trying to hurt me. Source is like, you're not running anymore. You're not leaving anything anymore. You're getting planted, rooted and grounded there because of, you know, you had enough experiences with continuing to walk past your vault. You're very close to opening up your vault door because now somebody understand how karma works. Whoever put out some energy about you is going to come back and hit them, right? Because that's the end. And that's not something you can stop. Here we have the Ace of Swords. So that's where your breakthrough is going to come in. When you really sit down and let Source illuminate your whole spirit to show you 
I, I've been I've been really holding on to something. Maybe that person has said or that said or did something that cut me deep like a sword or burned me like a blowtorch. Mm, maybe there was a little bit of truth to that. Like you know, maybe I need to get rooted and grounded and have some solid relationships, not deep friendships, because it's going to take years for that. Right? You're just some of you all are just learning what a true friend is because you've evolved. Other people have evolved, right? So you got new rules. You're not the same as when you were in kindergarten. We got on the same color shoes or our hair is the same. So we're friends by default or our parents get along. So we friends. Your rules are different now because you're an adult. So I do see somebody meeting a soulmate. I do see somebody meeting a member of a soul tribe and their energy is just as nurturing as yours, Aquarius. So just be open to that. Be very, very open to meeting a soulmate, but take your time, slow down. You don't have to build foundations. If foundations are, if you ever seen somebody build a house from the, uh, from the ground up, they got to dig deep first. They got to get that foundation together. So you got to spiritually, emotionally dig deep before you start setting those you know, setting, getting that foundation together, Aquarius. So here are your questions. Here are your transformational. Um, well, you already had transformational questions from the last couple of videos, but here's your five questions. Now, so a moon in Scorpio digs real deep. We're not talking about any Scorpios that you know. We're talking about the zodiac sign Scorpio that is ruled by two planets. Uh, your sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Pisces are the only planets that are ruled by two, the only zodiac signs that are ruled by three, I mean, uh, two planets, right? Generational planets. So Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is the planet of power and transformation. When you think about Pluto, I want you to think about your power to transform giving life and death to things, right? A metamorphosis, something that's very intense, um, really purging secrets about yourself. This right here, while a person may have said something or did something to cut you really, really deep, um, source has been trying to get somebody to be rooted and grounded in your life, in every area of your life, right? So remember, source will use anybody. And while and while anything or anybody, and while certain people may have cut themselves out of your universe because of how they said it or how they did it, or burned a bridge because of how they said it and how they did it, the message came through. So you can go ahead and release them in love, toss their name into a burning bowl, that, let that be part of your, uh, your ritual for the full moon. And by the way, three days before the full moon, three days after the full moon you can still do the ritual so don't rush yourself don't frustrate yourselves um the and then so they've released themselves from your universe their 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 job is complete in your universe so they were sent to their spirit was sent to wake you up jolt you out of something right and so you gave life to it while it was in your universe remember pluto is life death is the power you know power and trans uh transformation planet you gave life to it while it was there. You gave it air. That's your power, your intellect. That's your conversation, your thinking. You gave water to it. That was your nurturing, all of that. The person did or says people, people, places, or things did something to cut themselves out of your universe or burn a bridge. You're saying, I love you, but I got, I got to let you go. I got to move on. You got to, I don't know where you got to go, but you got to get the heck out of my universe, right? So you're releasing them, right? And so it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted, but now you're making room for something that you prayed for. And somebody could have been praying, praying for their soul tribe to come in. So yes, that soul tribe will know exactly what to say to nurture. So on what, so for people who say that you have no stability or you can't keep friends or you move around a lot or you hoard memories, like you hold grudges and this kind of thing, it's going to, it's going to, that's going to backfire because of the the their um the energy that they put behind it they put ill will behind it they put hurtful energy behind it right instead of them doing it in a loving way they put hurt energy so that's going to backfire because source is sending you exactly what they said that you couldn't do find a soulmate that you couldn't you couldn't last in a relationship that you moved constantly so i do see somebody purchasing a house i do see somebody um or moving somewhere where you're kind of sort of you know like i said settling down building relationships and like i said you're very close to opening up your your vault so great here we have the high priestess we also have the page of swords the chariot card we have the five of, uh five of swords we have the ten of pentacles and also the knight of pentacles so this so we in the we got the high priestess and the the chariot card right 
So the chariot card is cancer. Somebody's uh, moon sign may be cancer because this is attached to the moon. But source is saying to you, you're at a crossroad in your lives right now, right? There is no blockages, Aquarius, whatsoever. I just told you exactly what this was. No blockages. So you're at a crossroad. Do I tap into the light side of myself or do I tap into the dark side of myself? The answer is that you've tapped into both because because of the way that messages were delivered to you about your stability, about your your solar plexus chakra, your 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 sacral chakra, your um your heart chakra and also your solar plexus chakra because the 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 messenger was so harsh you said, okay, your job here is done. You don't need to, I'm not going to let you overstay your time in my universe. So, you know, you put on your head, your bonnet, you're taking a shower, you're standing at the door with your robe on, you got the door wide open. Okay. You got to get the heck out of here at this point. Cause you don't know how to conduct yourself in my, you know, so you got to get out of here. So you're not allowing that energy to stay in your universe, like overstay their welcome in your universe, because you're such a nice person, right? You're still a nice person, but you're not allowing them to contaminate your energy. So the anxiety that you were feeling about something, you won't even look like what you've been through. It's like onward and upward from here, right? So even though you're at a crossroad, you're you're saying to yourself, I'm, I'm, you're getting clear messages. So that's what I'm saying. Pay attention to those dreams. You could be having a dream about people who said something or did something that cut deep or burned deep like a, a blowtorch or a sword. And every time you think about it, you remember what was said from the past and it, it almost gives somebody a headache, just makes your head spin like there's no way I'm going back to that. And I'm not even staying connected to the people who are connected to those energies because I don't want to look like, you know, um, I don't want to give off hostile energy. So you're removing yourself from the confusion and, and chaos. But the bigger thing is, is because you're moving towards the 10 of pentacles. You've invested in yourself. You've gotten rooted and grounded. You're, you've invested in yourself. You've been working very hard, earning your money, getting rooted and grounded, with, which means that if you move to a new place, Aquarius, a new, a new state, a new province, a new continent, a new country or whatever, you are, you are becoming familiar with the people that you are, um, that you, you're come. It's like a person who was, who's decided I'm not leaving anytime soon. So I got my, I, I got, you know, I, I'm building relationships is what I'm seeing here. And so I do see you making an impact on your community and the world at large. And there's a lot of money attached to it. So again, either you going into business with somebody or romantically link with somebody, but you all are building a legacy together. So essentially you're going from five of pentacles to 10 of pentacles. You've already invested in yourself. You know how to get it out of, you know, you know how to build it from bare bones. You earned this. This is not like somebody gave you anything. You've earned this. You put in that hard work. So let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So if you're at a crossroad right now, just recognize that you've looked at, you've looked at the dark side and the light side of things and you've decided, you know, I'm exhibiting a great deal of willpower. I don't need to, I don't need to let somebody overstay their time in my universe. Um, and but I'm I'm moving forward in the right direction. I'm taking the high road. I'm ascending higher. I'm breaking cycles. I'm breaking chains. I'm breaking curses. Here's the questions for you. So, like I said before, this is we're we're at the time of uh, at the time you'll be watching this video. It'll be full moon energy, right? Hopefully, somebody can get some good pictures. But we're moving towards after the full moon. We'll be moving towards last quarter moon in um, in Scorpio, and that's about finishing strong. Scorpio digs really deep. The zodiac sign digs deep because it's about Pluto. That's a generational. That's a generational planet. So you are breaking generational cycles. You're breaking generational chains. Like I see a lot of you all being the first to do some things in your families. Um, Scorpio, it doesn't, it doesn't stop before everything that is wounded and unhealthy is brought to the surface for the grand finale. The grand finale is the release and transformation, right? So the process of purging is mostly not much fun while it's going on because it, it, it calls you to go darker, deeper and darker than you've ever been in your spirit. Remember, our bodies are made up of almost 70% of water. So that's a large part of your body that may be going through this purging process. Like, wow, I, I had to have some deep thoughts about some things and I'm going to have to make a decision about some things. Water is feminine energy. 
this is a great book too. I have you all see I have water, books about water up here too. But it's it's feminine energy. Feminine energy can be quite chaotic and quite confusing. Because you're doing a you're doing a master purge, right? You're doing a master a major purge. But the main reason um it's a it's a it's a you're going to feel like an alchemist. Like this major transformation for somebody's going to feel like an alchemist like wow, I never I never thought, I didn't realize, I did not realize that I had not really, I felt so unstable. I felt so insecure about certain things. I didn't feel like, I, I, I didn't realize that I was hoarding, you know, certain things, you know, and again, from ages zero to seven. So somebody saying or doing something to you, there may have been some truth to it, but it's again, it's how they said or did it that kicked themselves out of your, your universe for good. Um, and so source is going to send new energy across your path. That'll be a soul tribe that's going to help you set up, you know, to let you know that you have, that you've landed in the right place. That it's okay. It, it really is okay to get rooted and grounded. So here are your questions. First question is, what are the stories of your ancestors, meaning your past lives, right? Your past lives, right? Your ancestors. You came back around many times. What are the stories of your ancestors, Right. Uh, second question is, wh wh uh, where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots? Where do you need to go to heal your connections with your roots? The third question is, do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and career? Like relationships could be romantic relationships, professional relationships, uh, platonic relationships, fa family relationships. Do you feel empowered and are you ready to release those relationships when you don't feel empowered? Um, and then the fourth is, is there a deep trauma you need to look at, heal and release during this moon? And again, the uh, last quarter moon doesn't start on until the 13th of this month. So uh, like, like I said, just give yourself some time. Like during this full moon, let these messages come through while you're asleep. Let the messages come through your intuition, your premonition, your just let the messages come through because source is going to show you everything that you need to part ways with fear, doubt, uncertainty. If there's any addictions of any sort or any kind, uh, if there's any unhealthy behavior, sexually, uh, eating, I mean like anything that doesn't empower you, doesn't feel good, doesn't really nurture your soul. Source is going to give you an opportunity to purge, to, to part ways with that. And again, if people happen to be attached to that, people, places, and things happen to be triggers or attached to that, source is like, it's okay to let that energy go as well. And then last but not least, are who are the people, meaning the therapists, healers, and so on, who can help you to dive deeper, Aquarius? So yeah, so yeah. So you got, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Like I said before, somebody's going to be celebrating outside of a home. Somebody's going to be celebrating it could be a home or a building that you're purchasing um somebody's gonna be celebrating something like i said before somebody won't feel like unstable anymore somebody's no longer going to feel unstable with situations anymore so kudos and congratulations to you aquarius like i said before um somebody may even be getting married um somebody like i said getting married either in business or romantically somebody may be getting married but again aquarius Things are about to get significantly better for you. And for you, you won't feel like an alien here on earth. You won't feel like you're an alien here on earth. Like you just cannot get settled, rooted, you know, um, and grounded in things. And so source is sending new energy across your path. Pay attention. Eight of pentacles, king of swords, eight of swords. We have the seven of wands, the three of wands, and also the six of wands. So yeah, I see victory for somebody. I see victory. Like I said, I see you celebrating outside of something. I see victory for you. Here we have the six of wands, right? And here we have the eight of swords where somebody may not have even been able to relax on a beach because of just so much, um, so much trauma somebody may have experienced, especially in your root chakra between the ages of zero and seven. You know, like I said, the, the root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra and heart chakra could have been out of alignment. So somebody may not have been able to relax. But this card right here looks like looks it talks about self-sabotage. Somebody's allowed somebody to rent space in their head for a long time 
and things just piled on top of each other, right? And so all of those things, you're releasing all of them. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, which lets me know at least eight streams of income. Again, source is sending more people across your path. That's going to translate into healthy, wealthy relationships with people, not just paper and coins, but just, just like, you know, like I said, your credibility. Here we have the King of Swords. That means some source is putting somebody in a very, very powerful position. A lot of you all, will you really look back over your lives and see, look at the accomplishments, like the places, some of them will be shown through pictures where you may have performed, or um, it could be in like um, emails that you received or people like saying whatever, like very positive things like, oh, thank you so much for volunteering for this Aquarius. Thank you so much for that. Like you already have credibility. So somebody saying something to you, Again, it's almost like somebody had to reach back through a past life as to why your time here on earth has been, it felt like it was, it was on shaky ground from the very start. Like as soon as you came out of the womb, something was on shaky ground. Like somebody felt like maybe they weren't wanted. They could have had feelings of abandonment or something going on, but you are now building your own foundation and you are taking your power and your intellect back. Here we have the three of wands and we also have the seven of wands. I see somebody being able to defend themselves without coming across as defensive. The first person that you're defending yourself to is yourself. That's the first person you're saying, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rooted and grounded. Um, I'm moving on from something. I'm expecting expansion on the other side. Like this person is standing on the, they're standing on the bank. So they're getting all four elements. They're getting all of their chakras and their lower region of their chakras in alignment. Their earth right here, root chakra in alignment. Their sacral chakra in alignment. This yellow would be like the sun, the solar plexus chakra in alignment, obviously you're breathing the air. So that's the heart chakra. They're getting everything in alignment and expecting expansion. So it's like, the whole world is open to you, you know, like expansion. So this is where, this is where, like I said before, again, your sacral chakra, your emotions, something could have happened to somebody between the ages of, um, like I said, between the ages of zero and seven, your, your root chakra, but between the ages of eight and 14, your sacral chakra, something could have happened there that could have really stifled your creativity um, your, your emotional growth. Somebody may have felt like they weren't able to emotionally express themselves. So for your, um, for your, remember we talked about the, um, transformational power questions, right? For your sacral chakra, you can ask yourself, why am I becoming continually more, uh, comfortable with my emotions? So that's what I'm saying. You'll be able to defend your decision to release or purge energies, or even demote certain energies because that's what Pluto is about to demote. You can even demote certain energies or purge completely certain energies without coming across as defensive because you're comfortable with your emotions. You are like, I, I can defend myself. So if I had to tell somebody why I'm no longer friends with this energy or why I no longer connect, you know, with certain people, I'm not coming across as mean spirited. I'm not coming across as hurt. I'm actually healing myself. I can defend my decision and, and, you know, and move on, move forward from something. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. So let's see, let's see, let's see, Aquarius. Let's see. So hopefully all those questions, you got all the, um, you got all the questions there again, moon and Scorpio. Listen to what I'm saying, Aquarius. It can be quite intense. It can be quite intense. So pay attention to the slow down and pay attention to everything this full moon shows you. Source is going to show you everything that drains your energy and, and blocks you from seeing your true identity and your life purpose. So if there's anything that somebody tried to question about your true identity, even calling you a fraud or, or, um, or, or, you know, your life purpose, like this person doesn't know what they want to be. They all over the place, that kind of thing for you. Like I said before, you've already been here. You're light years, years ahead. You're trying to find your place here on earth. Um, and some of you all have already found your place here on earth. The main thing is, is that you're not getting caught up in, you're not getting caught up in hearsay. 
You're not getting caught up in somebody else's opinion. Four of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, and also the Eight of Wands. Lots of fire here. Lots of fire, lots of fire, lots of fire here. So we got the Four of Wands coming out again, which lets me know, again, somebody's going to be celebrating something, right? Like I said, somebody could be having cake at their wedding. Somebody could be getting married. It could be a celebration, a business celebration, or both. Like I said, you're moving towards your legacy. We have the Eight of Wands. Things are going to happen for you very, very quickly. Quick progression of everything. Um, here we have the Five of Swords. Again, Five of Swords lets me know you're leaving behind things in your past. Um, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Emotionally, you're not going to be overthinking this thing anymore because Source is going to preoccupy you with something that you prayed for, right? So you don't even have to go back to all of that. We also have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups lets me know that this is not even something you need to overthink. All you need to start thanking Source in advance is like, thank you for my soul tribe. Thank you for my soulmate. Thank you for my soul tribe. Thank you for, thank you that my vault is already open. Thank you that I'm no longer looking for a seat at somebody else's table or to be accepted by. I, maybe I use that as a crutch in the past. You know, thank you for, thank you for whatever you're thanking Source for in advance. We have the Two of Pentacles. Again, Source is going to keep you busy by helping you cr to creatively come up with additional ideas to make more money. So that's a, a good thing. And then we have the Three of Wands. Again, Three of Wands. See right here, further expansion, 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 expansion. So let people continue transferring their wealth over to you by saying negative things about you while they cut themselves off because that energy that they're sending out to the universe, they can't stop that energy from coming back. A lot of people are not smart enough to figure out how the wealth of the wicked is being transferred. They don't, they don't get that. So let me be the person to tell you, Aquarius. It's because the reason, the reason why I see so much wealth in you guys' cards is because I know that people have questioned your stability. I can look at the cards and see I, they question your stability. They've questioned your security. They question, you know, they try to say that you hold, you hoard stuff like hoard memories, like a person who holds grudges, like can't let things go, so on and so forth. But you've learned, you've learned that no, you're not holding on to things. Now you're looking back to see how far you've come. And those same energies that did everything they could do to cut you deep like a sword and burn you with a blowtorch, they don't have access to your air or your water. So you don't have anything to prove to them. Nothing. You don't have anything to prove to them at all. So again, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to you all. Like I said before, you have looked at the dark side of the things and the light side, and you've chosen the light side. You've decided, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to vibrate low with those energies. I'm no longer going to sabotage myself by even thinking about it for another moment. I'm in a very powerful position. They've even transferred their power over to you. But you're constantly on somebody's mind. You're constantly in somebody's mouth. They transfer all their power over to you. That's why we're looking at the King of, the King of Swords energy. We got the King of Swords. We got the, the Ten of Pentacles. We had the Knight. We had the Two of Pentacles. We got, we got a lot of energies here that, like I said before, is, I see expansion all over your cards. And I see somebody celebrating something. Like I said, a huge weight has been lifted. And so you're like, let me just keep on vibrating higher. I leave all that other dark energy in the past. I leave it in the in the past. So a new start is coming. A, a new start is coming. So congratulations to you all, Aquarius, for just like I said, you know, just just investing in yourselves. Like really, really taking the time to invest in your mental health, your physical health. You know, so a lot of you all have done intermittent fasting. A lot of you all are, you know, um, increasing your water intake because water is very, very powerful for flushing out those dark spirits. Um, not just food, it's also that low vibrating energy that has been deposited into your cup because, again, you're a water bearer as an air sign. But in short, if you got to ask who all is going to be over there, Aquarius, then it's probably a good idea that you not go. Just take my name off the invite list. You don't even have to, you don't even have to, you don't even have to invite me. Like you don't even have to, you, you tell people, family members, organizations that you're in, all of that. If you got to ask who's going to be there, right? Then you, you need to release yourself. You need to release yourself. 
because because you all are too free spirited of a sign you're too friendly of a sign you are too open as a sign to have to remember like oh my god it sends out mixed signals in the universe for an aquarius being not only the smartest sign in the zodiac who doesn't have a problem sharing information and and and, but also your most likable trait aquarius is your friendliness so imagine asking who's all going to be over there at a family function an organization function a, a job you know somebody inviting you to a happy hour or going out after work who all is going to be over there and you can't even be your full authentic self it sends out the wrong signals where you got to now take you know the conversation that you would have had about what books you read the the planets that you watched through you know all all the other smart stuff that you all like to talk about now you got to take away from that and you got to talk about you know well you know i felt uncomfortable because so and so was going to be there and this is what happened and now you're just giving air to gossip to office gossip to family gossip to this like if i got to ask all who's going to all be over there take my name off the list let me remove myself from uh, if <laughs> If I'm going to be the topic of discussion in a negative sense, nope, you just take my name off the list. Here we have deep breathing. So just take some deep breath, some deep breaths um, and just recognize that, like I said before, there's a lot of things that's behind you um, never to resurface again unless you invite it back into your universe. But you don't, you're not going to invite it back into your universe. Somebody, like I said, source is going to keep somebody so busy um, and a, a lot of your enemies um, a lot of their, a lot of their conversation about you led you right here. A lot of the people who, like I said before, their blowtorch and their sword energy trying to hurt you and saying negative, low vibrating, hurtful things, trying to project who they are onto you. Say, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I have overstayed my time in somebody else's universe. Let me get the heck out of here. Nothing about this feels empowering, you know, at all. 21. I am inspiring. There we go. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects, to your most prized projects. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's go ahead and close this out. Aquarius, let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. Bliss. Affirmations for bliss. These are some things that you can say during your, uh, your, your full moon rituals, right? I liberate my highest self. My, my life is full of wonderful surprises. I am free to be me. I express my individuality. I am grateful for my unique qualities. I see the beauty and the highs and lows of life. I am connected to all that is. I am grateful for silver linings. That's what somebody has started to see, the silver linings, like all of what was happening in your life, all of it's about to make sense, Aquarius. All of it's going to help you to understand your past life as well as your current life and also the, the, the groundwork that you're setting for your future and your, your, um, your legacy. That's what I'm seeing for you. So get ready to be wealthy in every area of your life. Get ready to purge all of that hurtful energy from the past. But again, you have to put forth the effort of just really allow, allowing this full moon to show you all of it, okay? That's what I have for you, and I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.